What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and we finally have the Indigo Disc release date for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC. I can't wait to talk about that. And of course, we're going to break down pretty much all of the information that we know about the DLC so far from the data mine. And of course, guys like this type of content, enjoy these videos. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider supporting the channel by joining the PanFam by hitting that Join Channel Member button below. The Pokemon Company tweeted this out seemingly randomly to me. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero Part 2, the Indigo Disc launches on December 14th. Avengers await you in the Blueberry Academy trainers. And yeah, they just literally, they just took the official art and they just put the date on it and that was it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this does not feel normal to me in the sense of how it's being announced, right? Because you usually expect like a trailer. Uh, I know we got a trailer in the past, like a couple times for the DLCs, but you know, one that would just focus on this Indigo Disc DLC and like with some updated information. But the fact that they just put out the old official art and they just put on 12 and 14 feels like this was maybe a little bit more rushed than I thought it was. And another thing we have to consider, right? So December 14th is like probably the last reasonable day that you can release a video game in 2023. If you wait a week after that, you are pretty much coming into Christmas time. And then the next week is like Christmas and New Year's, right? So I don't know. I want it to be really good. I think it's going to be really good. But part of me is also like, this seems like they had to reach the 2023 deadline. This was the last possible day. I mean, because this is a... Uh, a Thursday slash Friday, depending where you are in the world. In the States, it's going to be a Thursday. So Japan, this is going to be a Friday release, while Teal Mass, I believe, was like a Wednesday slash Tuesday release. So that's also like, it really does feel like it's the last possible day they would be allowed to release a game in 2023 per their own guidelines. But we'll see. I'm very excited. I hope we get more official information soon. Now, I'll say this date perfectly fits with the Regulation E schedule. The only regulation E is this is what the ranked battle rule set is for both singles and doubles in the game. And the regulation that we're in right now, regulation E, is slated for October 1st to January 2nd. So this is going to give us two weeks to prepare for the next regulation set. And just like the TL Mass, it was also two weeks of knowing the dates. But we didn't actually know what Pokemon were legal until pretty much the day of. So I'm expecting that we won't know what Pokemon are legal for the regulation until the day of. So I don't know if Terrapagos will be legal on that day. I feel like it probably will be legal because Ogre Pond was also legal. And this will definitely shift the meta of Pokemon VGC forever into more of a box legendary format, for my opinion. Because I have, there's no way Terrapagos is not an incredibly OP Pokemon. Ogre Pond was amazing and only had like, what, 550 BST. Terrapago is probably looking like it's going to have 600 BST with some crazy 19th Terra type and things like that. But we're going to wait and see. But I'm excited for new regulations because I already am a little bit tired of Regulation E. And I'm looking forward to all the new Pokemon being added to the game. Now, speaking of the new Pokemon, we do have some data mine information. We've covered some of this on the channel already. However, if you haven't seen it, uh, here's all the Pokemon that are returning to the DLC, the Indigo Disc. So we have all the starters, uh, all the starters from Gens 1 to 8, which is a total of 72 Pokemon. We're looking at like about 240 Pokemon that are going to be in this DLC here. Uh, we're going to have our Alolans, of course, like Alolan Executor, Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Sandslash, Alolan Golem. We're going to be catchable in here as well. Uh, I mentioned this before in a previous video, but something I thought was really interesting is that if we look towards the bottom of this image right here, next to Geraldon, Cleaver is actually in the decks. Now, that's really interesting because this probably means that we can evolve Scyther into Cleaver. I do not believe this is going to be a Blood Moon situation because, yes, Blood Moon Ursaluna was in the decks, but it was the only form of that Pokemon in the decks, so the only part of that line, right? There was no Teddy Ursa, there was no Ursarine, but you can see we have Scyther as a catchable Pokemon, and we have Scizor as well. So there's probably going to be Black Augure in the wild in this DLC. 
Don't think it's gonna be a Blood Moon situation at all. So it's gonna be pretty cool that we can get like legitimate cleavers in Gen 9. We don't have to transfer like a Shiny Scyther from home to PLA and all that. Seems like we can just evolve our Scythers with a Black Augurite in this DLC, which I think is gonna be really cool. The one pseudo legendary coming back is gonna be Metagross. The only fossil is gonna be Cranidos and Bastion, which I do think is a bit of an L. A lot of Gen 5 love, a lot of Pokemon I love. And of course, like there's the new Pokemon that are coming like Archladon, Diplin's supposed to have an evolution as well. That was from a data mine, and you can currently use Evil Light on it. Uh, Walking Wake and uh, Iron Leaves are going to be catchable in this DLC too, from what it seems. The new part of Area Zero, and we assume also the other parts of their trio, like Raging Bolt, is going to be there. So we'll just have to wait and see, but it seems like we already pretty much know all the new Pokemon. And then there's the Peach Pokemon as well. That was data mine too. Now, there's more than just Pokemon obviously being added to this. There's going to be a lot more. So we know what the uh, Blueberry Academy League is going to be. There's going to be a Fairy Leader, a Fire Leader, a Steel Leader, and a Dragon Leader. There's going to be nine new camera emotes. 23, no, 23 battle songs. That is really sick. They're going to be adding a lot of battle songs to this. I'm actually really excited. Uh, I, I love that, especially in VGC, like changing the song and stuff. That's really cool. 30 league club bgms so that the, seemed like the league club might be uh your new housing in this game that was shown off an official trailer so housing music which is pretty cool and then one ribbon which is pretty interesting too a lot of new fits eight full new outfits four eyewear five gloves four bags five footwear ten uh, headwear two legwear seven phone cases and six more hairstyles and a couple other things. So that's going to be interesting. I was really disappointed in the TL Mask with the lack of outfits it provided. And it was all very similar in this like, same style. So hopefully this is going to be much more varied and diverse in general. There's going to be a couple of new tutorial images added. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be for like the League Club and for the new mini games being added to the game as well. We have three new battle states, which these are pretty much... Uh, all uh, code words. Don't really know much about these. Terra Shell, though. I have a feeling that Terra Pagos will probably have some sort of special battle only form similar to like Turnitus. So that would make a lot of sense. It looks like we have 60 new trainers that we can battle. And for the Elite Four, three dragon challenges. So it seems like they'll actually have like trainers before the hand, like similar to like how traditional gym work. The three trainers for the dragon, five for fairy in three four fires so that'll be pretty interesting notice how steel doesn't have one because steel's probably tied to a mini game which is the flying one where you have to fly around and uh, go through the different rings and things like that the last thing we need to know is that there is a 19th type being added this seems to be a special terror type we don't know how this works but from an image that we saw when it was officially announced this new rainbow type or whatever it did not do super effective damage when it hit an opponent's Pokemon. So we'll have to wait and see what it actually does, but that is some really interesting things. Uh, we also know that there's gonna be four new abilities, which is really sick. I do have a feeling some of those are gonna be for the legendary Pokemon. Uh, 76 new items. Really wonder what that's gonna be. That's a lot of items right there. Wonder if that includes like closing items or anything like that. 15 new moves. Okay, that's pretty decent. I mean, we already know a couple of them from the new Pokemon. I wonder what else is going to be added. Eight new species. And we pretty much know already all of those. Like the Diplo Evolution, Archodon, the two, the uh, four Pokemon that we haven't uh, officially seen in game. Frios, Carapagos, and then the Peach Pokemon. That's going to round out our eight right there. Uh, we also know that you can change your own Terra type to that brand new 19 type. And it seems like you can do it at the Terra type Sushi Dude, which is going to be pretty interesting. So any Pokemon can really use this new 19 type, which I think is really cool. That's definitely going to be meta defining. I really wonder how it's going to work. I hope that we get more official news on that soon. Uh, we also have all the BB League guest house uh, club people. And this is going to include all of the gym leaders, which is going to be really interesting. And your friends are going to come visit you at your guest house. You're going to battle them. And when you beat them in battle, you're going to get a special item, 
we don't know what those items are going to be not necessarily it's just going to be these guys but it's also going to include like random trainers as well so it's maybe feels like the clubhouse could potentially be some sort of bootleg battle tower situation or something like that i really hope there's more to it but i think it's pretty interesting as well and lastly we got some stub text entries found in the scarlet violet 2.0.1 update it hints at some interactable objects so we can interact with the dorm at blueberry academy which is where we're going to be living at uh we can also visit carmine's and kieran's dorms too so this is probably very similar to like the school in the base game where you can like visit nimona's and penny's room and arvin's room so i feel like it'll be very similar to that we got some league club designs so we can customize our room and a new rooms in area zero zero kbg one two and three so it looks like there's gonna be three new areas two areas zero so this is where i assume we're gonna be able to catch like walking wake iron leaves again if you miss those events of course like raging bolt and all the other ones as well the ones that haven't even been announced i wonder if we'll catch the old paradox pokemon there too that'd be pretty cool if we can have at least a better location for roaring moon and scarlet because i would really like that because it is a little bit annoying to shiny hunt right now well there we have it guys that is all the information we know about the uh indigo disc at least from data mine sources and official sources as well uh we'll cover riddles in the future but of course guys if you like this type of content enjoy these videos please leave a like subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it consider supporting the channel by joining the pan fam by hitting that join channel member button below and i'll catch you guys next time peace out and have a great one Thank <laughs> you.